Terry Gilliam then went off to make Time Bandits. And what happened there was, uh, was um, he came to me and he says, oh, I've got this great idea. There's a, a kid in the bedroom and he's suddenly the cover bursts open. There's a knight and he's come through, uh, through these time holes. And I said, oh, yeah, great. You know, there's no script or nothing. That's it. <laughs> you know? And we went to see George Harrison's business manager, uh, Dennis O'Brien. George later fell out with and uh, was a pain in the ass in the end, but he helped us. And, and Terry goes, I've got this great idea. To, to, it's a um, kid in the bedroom and the night comes through the door. Uh, and, um, and Dennis says to me, well, uh, how much is it going to cost? And I said, three million. <laughs> I didn't know what it was going to cost. There's no script. <laughs> anyway, he said, all right, off you go. So we then had to write a script and... Uh, and we came up with Time Bandits, which was, was a lot of work for three million, you know, if you look at everything that's in there. Um, and I was editing it and shooting the effects while it was going. never remember his lines, Warner, but it gives it a sort of funny air about his quality. These pauses are half the time of there because he can't remember his lines. I'll have to turn you into a dog for a while. So I put, I put a bang in front of the guy, then replace him with a dog, and then put another bang, and then put the two together with the bang to make it look as if the dog appeared. we must plan a new world together. This time we'll start it properly. Tell me about computers. Uh, a computer is an automatic electronic apparatus for making calculations. I'll just run you this bit because it's an interesting... I shot this stuff with a dog. I shot all the animals because they take a long time for the main unit. Um, the sound of the dog, I was trying to think what can be half human and half dog. And we just finished Life of Brian and I had the camel, tracks of camels. So that's a camel. <laughs> and it worked great for the dog, you know. And then I put a little dog noise in there, you know. Show me. Show me. He's forgotten his life. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to. Re yeah, the dog. He uh, goes and gets the map. They had to move on because we had different actors in each different sequence, and they were coming in and going out. So they would leave all this stuff for me. I was shooting all this stuff with the map. All this. Then we put charges on his back and we ran him from the front and ran him from the back and then we go. Tom and there was this pig who the guy said was a trained pig and uh, I, we got him in and all he did was follow the guy around with biscuits and he'd go around the back of the set here and walk him through. And so I get a picture of him, you know, just walking through, and then we blocked his path. The first time I thought, I'll block it with myself. So he came walking around, and I got in front of him with the camera, and he just knocked me over. <laughs> Straight through me. So he put these blocks in. The guy would walk through, and then he put his blocks in. Anyway, later on, he went round the back, and the main unit had been shooting on that set the day before. He went round the back, and suddenly he wasn't following the guy, and we could hear all this snuffling in the back. And... Um, we went round and he found a box of chocolate biscuits, one of these big tins that the main unit had filled, and he was into these chocolate biscuits. <laughs> I mean, and then he wouldn't follow the guy at all. I mean, we just had to give up on him. He went away and then he came back, you know, uh, a week later and we'd had a very sunny few days and he came back with a suntan, <laughs> and, which I didn't realise pigs got changed colour. So we had to sort of put the makeup uh, on him to change, change him back to the real colour. Right. Sort him out first. Here you get the pig to walk through, and then you get the guy to walk through, and then you just put a little charge in between, you know, and uh, 
As easy, you do as easy. The easy tricks are always the best ones. Control again, put it all down to evolution. What's that one, Oh, don't go on about it. He's got to stay here. Here's a nice cheap trick. Come on. Shot backwards. So he's behind the pillar, the smoke comes down, and then he runs backwards and he's holding his, his coat to do that to make it look like it's out behind him. You know? <laughs>